Hey, what's up? This is Spider Prime 1, and I'm finally back after all this time with another Transformers video review. I know it's been years, at least two years, I think, that I've, since I've done a Transformers review. And so I figured I'd make this one a little special, a little monumentous. Um, I just got back from SAC Anime a few days ago, and this was one of my purchases. Masterpiece Generation 2 Bumblebee. Um, they had all three versions there, all the Takara Tomy versions, they didn't have the Hasbro version. Um, but they had the regular yellow one with Spike, they had the red version, and then they had the G2 version. I picked the G2 version for two reasons. First reason, I didn't really want Spike, and I didn't really want the red one. I just, and I, I kind of liked the the gold, uh, the gold paint scheme, and I liked the G2 Autobot logo. Second reason, he was the cheapest. The regular Bumblebee and the red Bumblebee were like sixty-five dollars or seventy dollars, and this one was only forty-five. So I grabbed it and. Did not look back, did not regret it, and I really do not regret it. This is a great figure. So the box is empty. And there he is. There's there's Masterpiece Bumblebee. He's smaller than my hand. In fact, he fits in my hand. Hmm... You'd think he'd be bigger for Masterpiece. And I know that's been a complaint for a lot of people, is that he's too small. But, eh, it's it's whatever. It's Bumblebee. He's supposed to be small. So therefore, the vehicle mode kind of gets sacrificed for it. Um, but even still, it's a really good Volkswagen mode. Um, and like I say, I love the gold. Uh, paint scheme on this one. Um, come on, focus. Um, I did, there is a sticker sheet, and it lets you either pick the G1 or the G2 Autobot logos for um, for the hood and for his chest. I obviously picked the G2 logos. Um, there were stickers for other sections, like on his forearms and stuff, that were references I didn't get, so I didn't bother putting them on him. So the only stickers I put on are the two Autobot logos. Um, but it is optional. You don't have to put this one on. You don't even have to put the other one on. It's just both sides of this flap are going to be blank then. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a nice little V-dub bug. Um, not really much else to say about it. Um, one of the things he does come with this little little blaster and uh, there actually is a spot to plug it in in vehicle mode so now you can have him uh, you can have his gun with him at all times and then the other thing that I also that I don't use is there's the spare tire that you can take out this license plate and you can plug it in right here and have the spare tire. But if the license plate is in it and you, for some reason you still want the spare tire, um, when his legs are together there's a little section right here. You can just plug in if it'll cooperate with me. So yeah, you can just plug in the spare tire underneath the, the front of the car. And then if the gun's in there, it'll help keep the gun safe when it's plugged in. But yeah, that's all the stuff that you can do in vehicle mode. So let's go ahead and get him into robot mode. So first what we want to do is separate the front of the car from the rest of the car. We don't want to bring the hips down yet. Um, we want to flip this piece this way, and then it'll go right in 
side. And that will keep that kind of sturdy. And then we'll split the legs here. And then kind of accordion down the knees. And then untab the door from the side of the leg and flip the front of the car forward. We'll fold the wheel in and then fold the doors around. And then that little tab will go right in there. And there's one foot. And there's the other foot. And then you come up here, and we'll want to separate the first arm, and the whole panel flips down like this, and then hold on to the panel, grab the arm, and it'll separate like so. You want to move the tail light onto the back of his arm, flip out the fist, and then spin it at the bicep, and then just straighten out the arm like so. And do the same on this side. And then you want to come up here and flip the whole piece around, fold in the bumper, and then there's a peg right here and a hole right there. And then you'll kind of hear it click in and it'll fold his, uh, put his head down. And then flip out the chest piece to reveal the Autobot logo. And there he is. Generation 2 Masterpiece Bumblebee. I like him. I like him a lot. I... I really just, uh, he's such a good figure. And that's supposed to be a little, a little more. There we go. He's just, he's just a good figure. He's so nice to just fiddle with. Um, I have three other masterpieces. I have the original, I have the original Hasbro Walmart exclusive Skywarp. Um, and then I have the Takara version of Sideswipe. Uh, G1 Sideswipe, not the G2 version, which I do want. Um, and then I have the Hasbro release of Blue Streak. Um, and the, those are all really good figures. I'm, I kind of am not a big fan of the Skywarp one just because he's a pain to transform back and forth. Um, but the Autobot cars, I'm really, really digging. Um, and... I don't have Sideswipe or Blue Streak transformed, so I can't really do a robot comparison. Um, here. There's Battle Blade Bumblebee for a, for a size comparison. He's, he's very little. He's tiny. Set that off to the side. Um, for articulation, nothing in the wrist, except for flipping in and out of the forearm. Um, just over 90 degree elbow. He can spin at the bicep, mostly for because of transformation, but also because, you know, masterpiece. Um... He has a ball-jointed shoulder, which can go in and out. And then he's also got the little, the moving shoulder uh, shoulder hinge. It doesn't raise much past that, unless you want to just move the whole side, the side flap out, which you really don't want to do. Um, his head is on a swivel post, and then a pin to help him look up and down. He looks down a lot farther than he can look up. Um, he does have a waist. 
full 360 waist. Um, leg can go all the way that far. Can go out that far so we can do a full split. Um, knees can go back that far and forward about that far, mostly because of the, the double, the accordion transformation. Um, the feet can tilt. They can move back pretty good. Can't really move forward. Or can't the, he can't tip his foot up. He can, he can tip it down, but he can't tip it up. Um, But yeah, he's very poseable. Putting putting Bumblebee into into poses is really fun. Um, and then we'll give him his little blaster here. And then he does come with other accessories. Again, he's got the spare tire, which now is useless for for robot mode. Um, he does come with the uh, the alternate G1 uh, Bumblebee faces. Uh, focus, focus. It's not going to focus, but uh, it's the it's the normal face with the regular eyes, either smiling or uh, stoic face. Um, I I just leave the battle mask on because it looks a lot better. Um, and then we have these three pieces right here. Two of these little black pieces, and then this. And what you do is you take the black pieces. Or actually, first, we take the license plate out of its uh, spot. Very important. Um, and then this one, there's a tab right here, which goes into that slot right there. And then there's um, like a notch right here on the inside, which goes over uh, this peg right here. You're going to have to hold it in. And you do the same thing on the other side. And then you take this. And it's got a peg right here, which is going to go into the where the license plate was. And it's got two holes where these pegs are going to go. And there we go. And now Bumblebee has a jetpack. I don't know if the other versions of Bumblebee came with one. Um, I don't think they did, I, but I don't remember. Um, but I gotta say, I like Bumblebee with the jetpack. Um, now one thing to note, uh, the first time I put it on, it wasn't all, I didn't compact it like I just did now. Um, so it was easy to take apart. If you push it down and squinch it all together like I just did, it's... Uh, it takes a bit, but um, be very careful pulling it out of where the uh, pulling the jetpack out of where the, it plugs into the license plate section, because the whole back piece is just that translucent blue plastic, and I do fear you know cracking it or just snapping it in general, and then you know not being able to use it anymore. Um, But yeah, it's a fun little accessory. Um, I don't know if it's actually pulling from the G2 comics or if they're just making another accessory for Bumblebee to have, since this one doesn't have Spike. Um, but it's a it. I really like this figure. I can't say it enough. I really, really like this figure. Um, hands down, it was probably the best purchase I made all day sack anime um second being the the ant-man figure art but i'll get to him later um because like i have in the back here i do eventually want to branch out and review all of these guys um 
plus more that aren't in screen. Um, but anyways, for right now, this is such a good figure. I mean, whether you like the G2 version or the G1 version or the 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 red Bumblebee version, um, which is just a, a homage to one of the older the old G1 toys, um, pick up a version of Bumblebee. It's totally worth it. It's worth the it's worth the money. Um, I would say don't break the bank on it. Like I like the the other ones were sixty five dollars. I think that's as much as I would have. That's a, that's the highest I would have paid for a Bumblebee. I just grabbed this one one because I like out of the three I liked this design more with the gold and the the battle mask being the the default face. Um. And the, the option of the G2 uh, Autobot logos, which are very nice. They are stickers you have to apply, but they are very nice. Um, focus. Focus. Focus, please. There we go. Thank you. Um, but yeah, pick up a version of Bumblebee. My recommendation is the G2 version, but you may like G1 a lot more than G2, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, he you cannot go wrong with this figure. Um, hands down, one of my favorites. Um, you may still be able to get the, the Hasbro version off of Toys R Us's website. It was about a month ago I saw it in, in store on the shelves. Um, currently right now I saw the Hasbro version of MP10 Optimus Prime on the shelf. Um, so I don't know if it'll still be on their website. It should be. Um, but yeah, either Hasbro version or Takara version, hunt down a version of Bumblebee. You, you will not regret it. Um, all right. So instead of just continuously repeating myself, I'm Spider Prime 1. This has been G2 Masterpiece Bumblebee. I'll be back with another review pretty soon, but until then, I'm signing off.